What's up everybody? Welcome back. We're out here again. We are at it at another off-road adventure here. We are in San Diego County at the Corral Canyon OHV Park and we're going to check out a couple of the more, um, shall we say, uh, heart-pounding obstacles while we're out here. Gentlemen, what's the, uh, what's the consensus today? It's a beautiful day. It's we're gorgeous. feeling good? It is gorgeous. It's 75 degrees. Couldn't be better. Perfect. Look at that sky. Yes. Oh, chemtrails up there. Right on. Our fearless leader, Matt Sadowski. Tell us what we're hitting today. Um, it's pretty hardcore stuff. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> hardcore stuff, you got that? Uh, Bronco Peak Connector, is that something we're gonna Bronco try to Peak do? Bronco Peak Connector, yeah. Okay, and is that part of the Sidewinder Trail? It's not. It's not, oh, okay. All right, so. Um, it's kind of a shortcut to Bronco Peak, the trail Bronco Peak, so it kind of comes okay. away, comes in like halfway. Nice. But it's, uh, it's got everything, it's got buggy lines, um, oh, oh, buggy lines. <laughs> Let's take a look over here. Look who's gracing us with his presence today. Yes. It's Steve. Yay. Steve comes out, oh, once or twice a year. Oh, come on. He wipes the dust off of his jeans. <laughs> uh, we'll see if you, we're, we're going to see if Steve remembers how to wheel. I got a feeling he's going to do just fine. <laughs> So rig count today, we've got seven. Pretty good sized group. We've got five JKs, one Gladiator, one TJ, and um, should be a good, good time today. Follow along, let's see what kind of trouble we can get into on this beautiful afternoon. All right, well, just a few hundred yards into the trail, it starts to get hairy. Matt is headed towards the Bronco Peak Connector. That's good. Oh, that's tight. <laughs> Woo. No, that was a great line, actually. Nicely done. Yeah, you're gonna level out. Nice. There it is. You're good. Can I come back up? Yes. Nice. That's good. That's good. Nice. Good grab. Good grab. Oh, look at the flex. Keep going, dude. Keep going, man. You're going straight for it. Next up, through here. All right, so what you're seeing Matt do right now is what a truly experienced wheeler does, is instead of just going and bombing through it, he's gonna come out, take it, walk it, look at the line. He's gonna do some advanced equations in his head right now <laughs> and uh, calculate his options. <laughs> And right in front of you, when, once you catch on this, That's gonna same thing, you're gonna, you're gonna be up, because it doesn't look like anybody rides up this high. So you don't wanna probably get up this high. You probably are gonna wanna stay in here with your passenger side. Yeah, I think I want my driver right up this. Yep. Yeah, I see driver tires right coming up there. right here. That's it. He's got to get the back over there. Let's, let's try one more reset. We got to get your butt further over. Any reason your lockers aren't on? That's better. 
Yup. Rear's not locked. Rear's not locked. You're saying your rear's loose. Your rear's open. Because that back one should be spinning. Okay, keep moving. We'll keep an eye on it. Real quick. Keep it locked. It's not locked. Yeah, he's not locked. You're not locked. You're not locked. Front's locked. Oh, your front is it, but your rear's not. Oh, I heard it back there. I did, I did hear, I just thought it was a rock moving. Oh, I thought he was just shifting gear, like into, uh, I thought that was the transmission. No, that's, I keep. That's way better. That's looking good. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, beautiful. Oh. Whoa, that was close. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow that is slick oh my gosh can you just keep sliding around there and get all the dust off that rock for me i like it Yep. Because the left rear isn't driving. Even, even if he's fighting it, it's just kicking him over. Yeah. It's wow. It's his front driver out of the hole. Because as soon as your back tire touches that rock, it's bringing your front down. And because you're not locked in the rear, it's... Right. The no matter how is... good we line up your front, your, your back end is screwing us up. See, now we're starting to really appreciate the sandstone out in um, Sand Hollow. It's just yeah, like, like it's sandpaper. Like and this stuff is like glass. 20 minutes later. I think what we're gonna try to do first is find out why Matt's locker's not engaging. We're gonna uh, yeah, jack up both of the rear tires here and get this one in the air, this one in the air. And then uh, we're gonna make sure that both of the axles are still spinning correctly, that uh, it's possibly not a broken axle shaft. That's not what we want. Uh, audio confirmation is noise. No, do it again. 100. 200. <laughs> My caliper came loose. Do that again, Matt? In time. It's either not engaging or spider gears. And it's unlocked or locked? It's unlocked right now. It's, yeah, so now lock unlocked. it. Uh, yeah, it's not, I can feel it. It's not, it's engaging one way, but it's, it's not the other. Missing. And it seems like the consensus is, is that there is something wrong with the locker. Uh, it doesn't seem to be engaging correctly, so hopefully it's an easy fix. Uh, I guess we'll find out at some point. So plan B, we're gonna go run Sidewinder. Never been on the trail. Um, should be a lot of fun. Maybe there'll be some cool uh, extra credit stuff that we can do while we're out there. So here we go, Sidewinder at Corral Canyon. Let's roll. Oh, here. Here it is. Oh, here we might have another straggler. All right, starting the route for Sidewinder. Let's see. Uh, let's see what kind of trail Sidewinder is. Let's see what Sidewinder has in store for us today. Uh, 
All right, well, so far, I kinda, I'm kinda getting Cleghorn vibes off of this. Um, so we haven't really hit anything, um, you know, substantial. Uh, it's just kinda rutted out, very flexy, very Cleghorn-esque, if, uh, if I do say so myself. Um, probably a few more tight turns at this point than maybe Cleghorn. Cleghorn's a little bit more sort of straight. Um, not as many three-point opportunities. Slippity slide. <laughs> Cool. Um, yeah, I would say my impressions of the trail at this point, it's a little tight, a couple three-point turn opportunities, um, but so far it's getting kind of fun. Shameless plug here for Milestar tires. These Patagonias are still sticky as ever. I absolutely love them. They're super quiet on the road. Still running a Generation 1, the first gen tires. Um, they're getting pretty close to being uh, replaced, but um, yeah, got nothing bad to say about them. A little sexy flexy here. Ooh. Okay. Just move that rock out of the way, no problem. That rock. <laughs> Sweet. 